Hello, right, hello, all of YouTube land. My name is Wildboy5699. And ignore the shower hair, hair, but I wanted to show you guys uh, a couple a couple of days ago, about a week or two ago, I went out and bought me two new game systems. I only had one for the longest amount of time. I had a Sega Genesis, and now I got another old school retro games uh, systems. And of course, I'm talking about the PlayStation One. And the PlayStation 2. Now, you probably be wondering that I had a PlayStation 2. I played a PS2 game, but I was actually on my brother's Slim one, and I found the big bulks kind of at a local game store for about uh, 45, 47 bucks. The PlayStation 1 or the PS PlayStation was um, only 23 bucks, so it was really, really cheap for that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my PS1, give it an overview, of see, see, so you guys can play a couple of games for both the PlayStation and PlayStation 1. And first off, let's talk about the PlayStation 1. Um, it's really cool. And uh, I got a game in there I want to show you because the start I want to show you guys the start up startup screen. Uh, I got Jeopardy, obviously Jeopardy for the PlayStation, right there. And of course I'm going to show you another game as well. Uh, there's not much to show on the PlayStation on the system, but it's really really nice. You got the memory card right here. I'm going to slide that back in. And I know it kind of looks blue right now because I got my TV on. And then I have the game uh, controller down here. Right there, you can see there's no dual shocks, and that's where usually the PlayStation doesn't have the dual shocks. So anyway, let's check up that bad boy starter screen. Always the best part of the. This is the. Uh, see if it works right. This. This is the best PlayStation startup screen, and you cannot change my mind about that. I love it. I'm really cool about that. I love the play. I love that. So, and we can turn that back off. And put Jeopardy back in this case. I got a couple of games I'm going to show you for the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Obviously, I got Jeopardy right there. And uh, I plan on getting the Wheel of Fortune 1 too as well. But this is one my mom picked up at the game store for like 3 bucks. And of course, I'm going to show the other ones as well. Color cool games. Let's take a look at the PS2. The PlayStation 2, I it's plugged in, but I will have to hook it up to plug it back in and show you guys. But fortunately, it doesn't start off right all the way. It has to go to the loading screen and all that. And I did find this memory card in my storage unit. And my brother had one we were sharing, and, but he did find one for me in his closet. Actually, closet not storage unit. In his closet for me to have. Uh, big box kind. It's got PS2 on there, so it's the big box kind. Not the slim one like my brother has. So I'm glad I have one of my own. Down there is my Sega Genesis. and Sega, the, the controller is really clean and shiny. So we can't, the game systems came with controllers and memory cards and all of that. So let's take a look at the, uh, the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. So I'm going to show you guys. They don't fall everywhere. And I'm going to show you my favorites. So anyway, we got, like I said, we have Jeopardy right there for the PlayStation. We also have uh, uh, PGA Golf. This is a game my dad picked up for him for like three bucks as well. And these two are my favorites. We got G the original Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto London and Grand Theft Auto 2. Fun fact, Grand the original Grand Theft Auto was actually not ba made by Rockstar Games. It was actually made by a company called... It I don't, it doesn't say, but it was actually not made by Rockstar. Rockstar's first Grand Theft Auto game was Grand Theft Auto London. And then also we got Grand Theft Auto 2 as well. Let me show you guys inside. Uh, I picked this one up on, this picked both of these games up on eBay. The Deluxe Edition with the two, uh, two games were cheaper than the original one. Unfortunately, this one only comes with the slip booklet with GTA London and not Grand Theft Auto 1. But here's here's the uh, original Grand Theft Auto with, with the side. And also we got the other side with Grand Theft Auto London 1969, and there's the back for that, so really, really cool. And then also we got Grand Theft Auto 2, so this is so the first sequel and all the bag. It says Grand Theft Auto 3 with the Grand Theft Auto 2 CD disc and a bunch of other shit on there, so really cool. And then onto the PS, those are, I, I got the original, I got the original Crash Manicure, it's supposed to be here in my house on Monday, I ordered it about a, uh, either Thursday or Friday, last Thursday or Friday, so it's been over a week, but it's coming, it's in Memphis, Tennessee, it should be here, uh, either Saturday or Monday, but my luck will be here Monday. Anyway, let's check out the PS2 games, I don't have any games, but I have, my brother gave me this one for a trade-in, this is Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, open it up, you got, uh, the disc with Gary on it, you got a pamphlet booklet, always good with having the booklets. This one I recently picked up on eBay. It's totally spies, totally party. I did a let's play on this. Really, really cool. There's the front, the back. 
And we got a booklet too. This one I got brand new too. So this game is actually pretty not new, but this game came out in 2008. Brand even this game was released for the PlayStation 2 and Wii. Also, we got Sonic Heroes. I picked this up at a pawn shop for like three dollars. So there's the front bag. Did not come with the booklet. Works really cool. Works really well though. And then we also got Grand Theft Auto 3. Has a booklet in this one too. So really cool. And we got my favorite Grand Theft Auto game, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Grand Theft Auto 3 was like 4 bucks at my local game store, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City was about not 8 or 9 bucks. It comes with the poster, poster's rip, and it's got the pit, and it's got this. And the last game we have is the Ed and Any Misadventures game we picked up in my local game store for about 10 bucks. Uh, I had I bought it for the game for a GameCube because my brother has a GameCube and I picked it up for there. But I found this one that had my own copy and I gave him the copy, my GameCube copy for his GameCube. So there's the front, back, and the booklet. Got the receipt. Don't want to show that. And then there's the disc. So that is my PlayStation One and PlayStation Two game collect. Uh, systems and collections. What do you guys think of the video? If you did, make sure you're a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my other videos down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.